Uh oh. Hey guys, please be sure to stay to the end of the video. I got some giveaway information. Um, I got some really cool ideas that I've been talking to you guys about uh, via Instagram and also the community page. Um, I definitely want to start doing some giveaways. I think it'd be super beneficial for all of us. Um, and I got some really cool ideas about how we can really bump up a lot of people, uh, whether that be us in the future giving away cars, trucks, um, I think all this stuff can lead to something crazy. Uh, I just need you guys' support to get us there. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video and let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about doing giveaways. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a waste of time? Uh, please let me know what you guys think. Basically, all these giveaways will support this channel to go to the next level, whether that be us doing merch whether that be us giving away cars, whether that be us giving away um, a set of stacks for someone, steering wheels, you name it. Made it here to my first drop over here in Richfield. They just got that bundle of pipe and there's a little tube on top. So he'll get that off and I'll be on the road again. Easy enough, nice, beautiful morning so far. Can't complain. I got six drops today, so uh, we'll get these kicked off pretty easy. Here at my next customer, all they got is this uh, 1640, one beam, one beam. So, and then the beam at the top, I messed up. So if you can see where the dunnage is, you got one here, one there, and where my chains are, I loosened that one first, and that one still had a ton of pressure on it, and the whole damn thing like scooted over, so always be cautious for things like that got too much pressure on where you know the dunnage ends not good
so here we are on the next day. I all, all I had was a simple uh, one drop to a job site in downtown Portland. I actually delivered to these guys once before at a downtown location, which was pretty tight. Um, this place was not so bad, but I did have to blind, blindside back in here. Um, but with my back window, blindside backing is really not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, pretty cool spot. And then since I finished the day so early, I ended up, uh, me and Sadie ended up going and looking for a Christmas tree. Um, it was super wet and cold at this point. And the Christmas trees we actually wanted were these like kind of naked style blue trees. And of course, um, the trees that we wanted, they weren't for sale this year. So we actually ended up leaving um, after browsing the entire property. Um, and we found out that the, the tree farm that we usually go to is probably the best in our area. Uh, so we had to settle for our second best choice, but this place had so many trees. And a funny story, growing up, I never had a real tree until I met Sadie. And I always thought, what's the point? You know, you're gonna throw it away anyways. But it's a fun adventure just trying to go out and, you know, pick a tree and, oh, this one's better than that one. And, you know, they all have imperfections, they're trees, you know, but, um, yeah, I never had one before. We always had a fake tree that we get out of the box and get out of the basement or closet or whatever. But I think it's kind of cool to chop a tree down. And uh, right now we're dealing with spiders everywhere, these little weird bugs. And um, yeah, it's it, it smelled, you know, your house smells great for a couple days and it kind of gets you in the Christmas spirit. And uh, yeah, so here's our here's these blue trees that Sadie loves, but we can never find every year. We can never find them. Yeah, I like that one. A little dead. Well, no luck on the blue trees, but we're gonna find some, our second best options. They look, looks like they got some decent, look at that one straight ahead right there. That's a decently blue tree. This is the part where you just start saying you like every one of them, just so you can hurry up and cut one down and go. Hell, any of these will work at this point. Or that one right there. This one. Yeah. You want to trim some of it now? You want me to go under there with you? Now she's starting to make suggestions because she knows how bad this is going to suck. What is she going to go under there and do with me? Hold the other side of the saw? I highly doubt that. So this is a part where I completely forget how bad it is to hand saw a tree down. It ain't that easy, especially when the ground is as muddy as it is. Does that even work? Oh, I ended up breaking this uh, saw blade by the time I got done sawing this thing down. <laughs> Man, next year I'm buying an electric one. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it.
Don't really see that. Update, this shit sucks. Who, uh, who created the idea to saw a tree down? Could have just had these people do it for us. But we're almost there. Okay guys, so I was talking a little bit about um, the giveaway stuff and where that could go last night on the community page. But if you see, if you click the links that I've been putting everywhere, either in my bio on Instagram or even in any of these posts, it's super easy to check out. I have, um, I have it set up to do Shop Pay, uh, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and you can also just do like your normal debit card, credit card, whatever. Uh, every $5 you spend on this digital download, um, is going to get you entered in. And then the way I'm going to select the winners is uh, via Instagram. I'm going to go live and we're going to do a